All right, hey guys. Um, yes, this is just going to be a quick demo on my um, Prescience Finance project that I made. Um, the code's available on my GitHub, and that's what probably brought you here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the project. And yeah, we're just waiting for that to become available. And then we're going to add to the project. So effectively, what Prescient Finance is, let me just log out here and I'll create another demo. What Prescient Finance is, is a, um, it's basically a web application that enables you to create multiple um, portfolios. And within those portfolios, um, you can add as many equity trades as you want. Um, each of these portfolios are equity portfolios. So that's currently what it handles. Um, yeah, and then you can just check the performance, um, other types of data analytics on your portfolios. And yeah, just a quick summary of what I can do using Python and Flask and, um, and SQL Alchemy as my ORM. So what we're going to do, we're just going to create another demo, just going to log in. So we're going to create a username. Let's do Shaka20. Our password is going to be, I can't tell you that. Then your account has been created. So then we're going to log in as Shaka20. Cool. So as you can see, we're on the login page. Welcome to Prescient Finance. Create portfolios and strategies your way. So get started and you can create a watch list here. So basically it doesn't bug out if you don't have, um, if you don't have any securities entered. So you don't have any active watch list, so you can create a watch list here. So it takes you back to the watch list where you can add it. So effectively what watch list is, is basically a portfolio. It's basically the name I've created for a portfolio. So we're going to create a watch list and we're just going to call it, yeah, I mean, I did VC funds already. Let's just call it VC funds. Cool. So we're going to create our watch list, which has been created. As you can see, it's currently empty. So now um, what we have here, we can filter our securities if we had any. We also have here viewable um, trades. So these are all the trades that you can actually trade that are priced on Alpha Vantage. There's also a filter for that as well, as you can see. So these are all the FTSE 100 stocks. And there's many other benchmark indices that you can use. So what we're going to do, we're going to create two securities. So we're going to go long on these securities. So we're going to create Microsoft. And we're going to buy 500 at a price of... 158 spot one two and then um yeah there's a little bug here which i need to work on so i'm just going to add this to the watch list and i'll show you what i mean and then what i'm going to do i'm going to add another security and it's going to be amazon and yeah we're just going to add 30 i did more last time and the price is going to be thirty thousand six oh no two zero uh, spot four and it's going to add this to watch list. So you've got your basic CRUD operations. You can edit and delete and, you know, and create. And then the filter I was going to show you, MSFT, it filters it out, filters out the Amazon. So then you, know, you can do that accordingly. So effectively what we're going to do now, we're just going to edit and change the dates just so we can get to that um, performance we want to capture. So let's change this to um, the 5th of June. Yeah, just a good measure. Let's put this as technology. Let's trade. And it's a buy trade because the quantity is long. If the quantity was negative, then it would be reflected as a short trade or a sell, depending if you have any um, positions held. So save changes. Let's do the same thing here. Same date, I guess. Cool. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Another thing I was going to show you here. Here is a summary. So this is actually a position summary. And what I mean by that is this, these are all your trades. So if I add another trade, let's say I add another Microsoft trade and I do minus 20 and um, the price, oh no, let's just do a price of 140 spot two. And yeah, let's, let's watch this. As you can see, the um, quantity actually changes. And your, the reason why this stays the same because your open lots is actually 158 spot one two, which is the original um, buy trade that you entered. 
example, and I'm just going to change the date of this to uh, this because you can't enter trades on weekends. It gives you a warning as well. So let's just do the 26th, the 25th of June. So we can capture that performance as well with that change. And uh, technology. Cool. So as we can see, um, my two Microsoft trades. Um, we purchased 500 first and we sold 20. So we have a position of 480. And using the FIFO method um, of accountant, see, we have 158 spot one two as our average cost price. So then we go back to the dashboard. And yeah, as you can see, this is the breakdown of our new portfolio that we've created. So this is the quick summary of the two trades. If you have multiple portfolios, you can click here and get them. We have our portfolio performance of all of our trades on a daily basis. As you can see, this is these are actually live daily prices from the Alpha Vantage um, API. And then yes, you have your market value of these positions, and this is the latest market value. And yeah, then you have your positions by distribution. So as you can see, 52% of our portfolio is Microsoft and 48 is Amazon. And if you have more, you know, you can cross off Microsoft and play around with the pie chart. And then the number of positions per country. So we have two positions and they're both from the United States of America. So there's that breakdown. And then lastly is the charts. So as you can see with Amazon. Um, oh yeah, actually. Um, wait, what have I done here? Ah, I've entered the wrong price actually. So the price should actually be a lot lower. It should be 3,000, not 30,000. Um, so that's why it's showing the 91% loss. So let me just change that quickly. Amazon. Let's go back to charts. Cool. And then this is our Amazon performance. So we are down 20%, but over time that's changed and now we're in positive territory. And then we can also plot the graph for Microsoft. And as you can see, this is our performance for Microsoft over time. So now I just want to quickly log out and I just want to show you one more, well, another portfolio I have. That I've created on my own personal account. And yeah, as you can see, this captures the volatility. So during COVID, there was a lot of volatility in the market. And as you can see, it's all captured here. And things began to smooth out more um, well, as the months went on, at least on this particular portfolio with BlackRock. And I can't remember what these other two are called. I can find out there. But yeah, and yeah, free securities from the United States of America. We have the same chart breakdown. This is AAL. As you can see, we've begun, we've then entered um, positive territory. And then also you have your breakdown, your daily breakdown, your daily performance breakdown. So I just go to watch this here quickly. If I've entered any sell trades, no, I haven't. Um, so yeah, that, that was, that's pretty much it. Just a quick demo, just to show you how that works. Uh, yeah so yeah glad you, i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys can you know fork and yeah improve on this in any way edit make additions or anything or utilize it in your own personal projects so yeah uh it's me done for today and thank you guys